Hi, I'm Isabella Allred and welcome to this edition of the Main Issue, Wallace State Student News for the Spring 2020 semester. We'll be taking a look at what's happening on campus as well as news and upcoming events. The Wallace State email system was updated on January 22, 2020. If you are unable to log in with the password you used previously, please use the following password. Exclamation point A double C S plus your six digit date of birth in month, day, and year format. If your birthday is 5 3 1999, then your password would be exclamation point A double C S 050399. To find your student email, please log in to My Wallace State, then click on Personal Information. Next, view email addresses. From there, you will be able to view your Wallace State email address. Please use this address and the password above to log on to your email on office.com. If you still need a PIN or password reset, please contact Lion Central in the lobby of the Bailey Center. Lion Central email is lioncentral at wallacestate.edu or call 256-352-8182 or 256-352-8238. Be sure to check the schedule for additional updates. Please let us know if you have questions. Staff are available in Lion Central and across campus to assist you. Applications are still open for students wishing to apply for WSCC scholarships. There are a number of scholarships available to current Wallace students, as well as incoming freshmen. They will be awarded for up to two academic years, beginning in Fall 2020. Scholarship categories available include Presidential, Academic Excellence, Leadership, Performing Arts, Allied Health and Nursing, and Career Technical. Scholarships are awarded on a competitive basis and are not guaranteed based minimum requirements in each category. Minimum requirements vary and students may apply for multiple WSCC scholarships. However, they can only be awarded one as they are not stackable. Scholarship applications must be completed online. The link to the application is in the description below. Students are required to apply for federal aid at www.fafsa.gov a WSCC application for admission, official transcripts, and a scholarship application must be on file at the college before a scholarship can be awarded. For additional information or questions, contact Stacy Sibley at 256-352-8241 or stacy.sibley at wallacestate.edu. Don't forget that applications are also open for presidential transfer scholarships to the University of Alabama and UAB. The deadline is February 7th. This UA Presidential Scholarship covers the cost of in-state tuition for four semesters, provided the student maintains a 3.0 GPA. The current value of this scholarship is over $20,000 for four semesters. The UAB scholarship is similarly awarded. Click on the other scholarship opportunities under the financial aid heading on the Wallace State website or visit the link below. Pell Grant and loan balance checks for students with no holds on their accounts began mailing Friday, January 17, 2020. If you are registered for a class that began during the late registration period from January 13th through the 15th, your balance check for those classes is expected to be mailed within 14 days of attendance. Verification. If you are enrolled in any classes that began after January 17, 2020, your balance check for those classes will be mailed at a later date. Generally within two weeks of attendance. Verification. Please refer to the schedule of classes on the website for more information. This year's Common Read selection is Big Fish by Daniel Wallace. Don't forget to pick up your copy of the book. Be sure to check back for more details on this and other upcoming Common Read events. The Wallace State Culinary Program resumed its Wednesday lunch schedule starting last week. Lunch is offered from 11 a.m. to 12.30 p.m. each Wednesday at $5 per plate, including tea or water to drink. Other drinks are available for $1 each. The menu rotates out every few weeks. View the current menu at the link in the description below. Don't forget these important dates for the spring 2020 semester. Second payment deadline for payment plans is Monday, February 3rd. Don't forget that failure to meet payment deadline results in assessment of $50 late fee. Residual ACT testing is held Friday, February 7th. The last day to withdraw from Flex Term 1 is Friday, February 14th. There will be no classes on Monday, February 17th for faculty professional development. Come out and support the Wallace State Lions baseball team as they open the season at home. The Lions take on Motlow State in a doubleheader beginning at 1 p.m. in the James C. Bailey Baseball Stadium. Homecoming has been postponed until Monday, February 24th when Wallace State takes on Shelton State in a men's and women's doubleheader. 
beginning at 5.30 p.m. Homecoming Court will be announced at halftime of the men's game. Stay tuned for an exclusive interview with Wally, the Wallace State mascot. The schedule for homecoming events is as follows. Karaoke in the cafe, 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. There will be students versus employee basketball games at the Tom Drake Coliseum from 3.15 to 4.15 p.m. followed by a tailgate social from 4.30 p.m. to 6.30 p.m. There will be a student challenge raffle after the women's game, so be sure and pick up a ticket at the tailgate for a chance to win Buffalo Wild Wings free for six months. These events are being sponsored by Campus Ministries and Church 212. Wallace State Community College is hosting a public performance of Alley 2, the next generation of dance on Tuesday, February 11, 2020, at 7.30 p.m. in the Betty Lee Haynes Theater. Ticket prices are $25 to $30. Purchase them online at wallacestate.edu slash alley2. A master class with members of Alley 2 Company has been scheduled for the morning of Tuesday, February 11th at 11 a.m. in the Wallace State Wellness Center Dance Studio. Advanced or intermediate dance students interested in participating should contact Brooke Desnoes at brooke.desnoes at wallacestate.edu or 256-352-8153. Class size is limited to 30 people and the cost is $50. On Wednesday, February 12th at 9.30 a.m., the Alley 2 Company will also hold a lecture slash demonstration in the Betty Lee Payne's Theater. This event is open to children as well as adults. Attendance for this intimate event is limited to the first 60 registrants. The tickets are $15. Contact Brooke Desnoes for reservations. The Alley 2 visit to Wallace State is supported by the Wallace State Future Foundation. The Evelyn Burr Museum will offer two opportunities to see the documentary, Community First, A Home for the Homeless, on Tuesday, February 4th at 6 p.m. and on Wednesday, February 5th at 9.30 a.m., both showing in the Borough Center Recital Hall. Filmmaker Leighton Blaylock will be on hand for the Tuesday, February 4th viewing to introduce the film and answer questions to the audience. Click the link in the description below to view the trailer for the film. Free tutoring is offered to all Wallace State students through our tutoring lab. Get help with math, science, English, computer science, writing, and more. The tutoring lab is located in the Bailey Center on the 8th floor. Hours are Monday through Thursday, 8 a.m. to 6 p.m., and Fridays from 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. Find out more by visiting the link in the description below. Email communications at wallacestate.edu if you are interested in joining our news staff. Do you have news you think we should cover? Don't hesitate to contact us. Thanks for watching. I'm Isabella Allred, and check back for the next edition of The Main Issue on Monday, February 3rd, 2020.